Having your side solution center back online. Our team starts working on your issues over the next 60 minutes. We tackle, well, just about everything and anything that comes our way. Troubleshooter Joe Paganakis joining us now. And Joe, we're talking about those nasty oh, bed bugs. Yes, bed bugs. A Cleveland mother is upset after she found out the home she rented is filled with bed bugs. So, as a tenant, what can you do if something like this happens to you? What are your rights if you believe your landlord has put you in a bad situation? Nasty, disgusting, horrible, and filthy. 16 year old Devante Lauren shares his experience with bed bugs in this Cleveland rental home. Pictures of how he and his younger sister were repeatedly bitten on all parts of their bodies. I just kept waking up with uh, bites all over me. It just bites all over my chest. The bites so bad, their mother, Olivia Lawrence, obtained an inspection and report from the Cleveland Health Department. My kids were bitten in the house and everything, which my daughter is allergic. At one point, Olivia says the infestation was so extensive, they couldn't even live in the house. We had to sleep in this van for a whole week, me and my children. Olivia showed us camera phone video of how her landlord, Julia Sanford, brought in an exterminator to spray the property. Olivia says the effort didn't help, and when she took the issue to housing court, Olivia says... He put the eviction notice on my door yesterday. Olivia also obtained independent inspections from two other exterminators who say the bed bug infestation existed before the home was rented to her two months ago. These are not my bed bugs. These are his bed bugs. I gave this man $1,500. $1,500. Give this woman her money back. Now, News Channel 5 contacted the landlord and he apologized. He explained the eviction notice was simply a communication problem and he said he didn't know the bed bugs existed when he rented the unit. He also promised to give Olivia all her money back. We're going to get him to fix this house up. So that was the first step. Once he was like, once you get the report, take your money downtown. That's what I did. Took my money downtown. Set up an escrow account. Set up account. an escrow account. And Olivia is now in the process of getting her rent and security deposit back. The landlord has agreed to additional extermination at the house as Olivia looks for a new place for her children. Both sides will sit down during a hearing set up by the Cleveland Housing Court. And again, Chris, tenants can go to their housing court, put their rent in an escrow account, and keep it there until they work out the issues at the house with their landlord. And you know, we're going to follow up on this bed bug controversy. Uh, indeed. All right, Joe.